What's up? It's me, your friend, Aspiring Spike. My, I was like, I'm going to wait to do my going live tweet until right when the challenge starts. I'm going to try that. And I just, I just deleted it. It's okay. We don't, I don't need the tweet. I do have, I did just build a hand hider. So let's get this up here. And the challenge is starting. Uh, we were 9 and 1 over the course of last week with the deck. It's definitely performing pretty well. I guess I can eat. I can just like. We, we'll, we'll mess with it a little bit. Our, my hand, my actual hand is pretty good, though. Yeah, I'm feeling better today. I took yesterday off. This feeling's just so groggy. I was, like, uh, trying new medication, and I was just just a zombie and had to, had to just take the day off. Hope everybody is getting a good start to their day. We've got a pretty good start with the turn one, as for sensible. Opponent is taking some time here on their on their first couple of turns. Scooch the hand hiders covering chat a little bit. Oh, Misfill Planes. Is this Reed's deck? Could be Reed's deck. Um, I, I can scooch the hand hiders. Give me a second. Wait, 96 people in the challenge? Um, there's 129. For some reason, this event is called Modern Challenge 96. I don't know why it's called that. Um, I don't recall the challenge, the Modern Challenges being numbered previously, but they are numbered today. They're gonna be numbered today. Prize to 96 now? Oh, weird. For 120, what? Okay. Or whatever. And how do you, yeah, we like to do uh, hand hiders for the, the modern challenges. Yeah, I think it is Reed's uh, advanced turns list. So I was able to defeat this deck when I was playing Scales during the modern Super Super League earlier this week. Will I be able to defeat it uh, here in the challenge with a completely different deck? This is a Bant Beanstalk deck, although I don't think my opponent has Beanstalk if they're going to solitude first i guess they maybe care more about giving me a card than drawing a card themselves but the the, the game plan is to cast beanstalk cast ring cast time warp over and over again and then use this mystery of planes to um effectively take infinite turns uh, putting time warp on top of your library over and over again they do have beanstalk interesting they chose to give uh not give me a card to not give themselves a card so that i guess is a Declar declaration of Strength. I'm going to get another copy of Esper Sentinel here. I think this is going to be the most important uh, one drop in the matchup. And the Ranger Captain can also stop them if they're going to ha be having a key turn. I just finished my White Green Heal of this, or is this combo deck better? I mean, I've been 9 one with this deck. I think that the green, I think that the green white builds are not very good, for what it's worth. I think that they kind of do everything wrong that... Um, these decks have done wrong historically, and and doesn't and, and, and don't really do anything uh, new or unique or that interesting aside from you know playing Cauldron. I think that this formula for the archetype is a bit better. My hand is honestly like about as bad as it could possibly be for this matchup, which stinks. So they get a Zogoth Triumph in response, then they binding. I assume they're going to binding my. Ranger Captain. Okay, we're gonna go pro white here. Get over here. There's these turn deck of legs. It seemed it seemed interesting and you know creative and powerful. Deck good, deck good. You know, I know all we do in this show. Deck good? Is deck good or is deck bad? Which one? It's by that good, that bad. One of those two for sure. My my hand is literally as bad as it could possibly be. My actual hand, <laughs> which is not not ideal. Although here's a card for me. Funny card indeed. Is deck good, Spike, or is deck bad? Hmm. 
my own copy of the ring. I think that we will be sacrificing Ranger Captain in their upkeep here. Deck bad buy. <laughs> so we can draw a Soul Cauldron, then we can Ranger Cap them, Ranger Captain them over and over and over again, which would be pretty important. 9-1 in challenge spike or in the future. We, we were 9-1 when we streamed this deck earlier this week. Um, we'll see uh, if that hot streak continues here. No, opponent's playing Reed Duke's Bant, control, Bant uh, turns deck. I think they're trying to... Oh, they're playing... Uh, they're not playing his exact list, though. But they are do, doing the Mistral Plains combo. They're picking up Solitude and... Evoking Solitude, maybe? Not yet. So, Cauldron, I think, is my the number one card I'd like to find here. I didn't find a Cauldron. I did find just about the next best thing, though, which is a, another copy of Ranger Captain. Certainly down to Esper Sentinel again. My hand has um, literally four solitudes in it, so <laughs> I'm going to uh, use one of them here, I think, before they can start ephemerating. Plus, I'm, gonna, I'm getting a lot of cards. So they're taking two. Maybe they're going to use the solitude that they have on the Ranger Captain and not the Inesper Sentinel. So in response to them, Minamoing, I did also my the one card that's not in my hand, or that is not a solitude in my hand, is actually a Leyland Binding. Alright, so they're solituding. I sue my Ranger Captain here. It's got a full seven cards in hand. Sack for Cauldron. I already, ha I already have another one in the graveyard. I'd rather just gain the life. I don't think Thor can be choked on number of creatures in graveyard at all. But yeah, I think we if we didn't have one in the graveyard already, then. But I'm already down seven minutes. Uh, I, you know, it's gonna be difficult for them to continue this pace of play the entire tournament. It's possible that they're like double queued in the limited challenge or something. They're starting on a Prismatic Ending on my 2-2 two, two Sentinel, and they have to pay 3 mana, lest I draw a card. They've gone ahead and have paid 2. If they're going to pay 2, I bet they pay 1. As for Sentinel, for the low, low price of 4 mana, dealt with. They also have a Flooded Strand here. Hopefully this is not a Leyline Binding. Just a Ren and 6. Okay, I will we'll happily take that so we can continue to draw all these cards with our Ring. Certainly looking for an Agatha Soul Cauldron still. Looking maybe for more copies of Ranger Captain. I'm going to take two down to 17. Draw three cards. Um, I've not drawn much here, unfortunately. Got a little. I think we just play Heliod and pass it back here. Seventy percent of the limit of it just don't dropped. Well, it wouldn't be any more than fifty percent, right? <laughs> okay, second bean stock picks up a flooded strand. Third bean stock. They've already used two solitudes, one binding, so they don't have a ton of things left in the deck to trigger this, unless they just have infinite time warps. The the mystical planes is is pretty interesting. I, I actually don't know. Are they are they do, doing the turns thing with Rin and six? It's you know, it's certainly a big question mark for me here. We still have a ring to keep up. Um, and my draws this turn, I think, were better than my draws last turn, to say the least. Yeah, they have Counterspell to stop me from getting a Ranger Captain here, unfortunately. 
did find a cauldron. So we're going to go upkeep sacrifice the, the giver here. <laughs> this is just, looks a little funny on the stack for some reason. Turns with both range just super greedy mana. I don't know if I necessarily agree with super greedy. Okay, opponent trying to slam time warp it looks like, and, but they're giver of runes. Alright, so we get to draw five more cards up the ring. Spike, why are we not playing? Why are we playing the ring over Collected Company? I just don't get it. We have to always play Collected Company in our creature combo deck. It's modern, damn it. <laughs> oh no. I can't believe. I, I, I actually can't believe how bad these draws were. I have 11 cards in my hand. How is my hand this bad? I mean, it's, it's not, it's not, you know, we can work with this, but it's like, <laughs> I thought I'd have a little bit more to work with. Let's see. I have nine mana. I don't even think I need to reset the ring though. I think what I'm going to do is just cast the solitude in their upkeep and then, um, Get a another Ranger Captain sack off, hopefully. Ask question my card choices. Yeah, I, I know. I know. I know it looks. I'm a very, very convincing hand hider in this modern challenge. I know it's 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 so. My hand is so good. No card from my hand ever leaves, <laughs> ever leaves play on any of these turns of any of these challenges these days. It's so weird. Sorry, I should, huh? Get this a bit more visible. Okay, so we're going to go to one after taking five and taking three. Oh, although, wait. Oh, wait, I can, I can let me salt, I can saltude there, saltude. So they have Bolt in their deck, which I, don't, I wouldn't really expect, but if they have Bolt, we're kind of in bad shape here. Renegade Egg, I think the seven months. Again, the Mistral Plains, really, and, and also them like just tapping Time Warp mana after they had been Ranger Captain last turn makes me think that they are on Time Warp here. Okay, so I go down to four. I just drew a lot of bad cards, so I'm, I'm due to draw a lot of good cards. This is actually kind of how it works, to be honest. So I can go... Give her Why not hold Cauldron Trigger for second Solitude? Hold Cauldron Trigger for second Solitude. Hold Cauldron Trigger. Oh, you wanted me to sack the Solitude? I, I guess I should have done that. Yeah, it's not a line that I've taken before, but actually seems like a very good line. Okay, so we have currently I need to be able to go boom, boom. I don't think it. I guess I should, I'm supposed to do it like this, so I can combo here through a opposing solitude here, and obviously that's the only thing that they can have because they um, have been ranger captain. But I, I have another one mana creature in my hand, so I could go planes. Fetch my last Grange, counter on the giver. Oh, then that's, so that's actually one, one too few counters, huh? So I guess I just need to not have Solitude, which they thankfully did not have Solitude. Okay. We are up a game. Honestly, I, I feel like that was like a super nice show in for the deck. Like my opponent had triple bean. They had the one ring, obviously like our ring stuck for a while, but like just being able to be a mono white deck and actually out grind all that. And like looping Ranger Captain is a huge part of that dynamic. I think that that was a good, 
good showing for what this deck is trying to do. Um, this is going to be a matchup where I want to go probably out all the copies of Solitude in the extra copies of Might and in some number of reprieves. We would do two Might, two, three reprieve. That seems like a pretty pretty reasonable number. We also have Binding for a lot of the things that Might can target, so maybe maybe two is a good number. You could also see trimming like the fourth Helia. Let's, let's, let's trim the fourth Helia, get these reprieves, and the reprieve looks like it's probably really good against them. Yeah, I know, the hand hider is it's very convincing. Spike, you're registering Chalice of Life, Martyr of Sands, or Souls Attendant. You've lost your touch. I've identified weak cards in your hand, and I've identified a weak Magic the Gathering streamer. You can't seem to size these correctly, okay. Like, are you sure about Chalice of Life in current year? I really, I just, I just don't know. I just don't think it's good. Just, you know. What about Collected Company over Chalice of Life, Smack? Have you thought about Collected Company? Forensic's a pretty good card, huh? We're reprieving. You're gonna have to wait a turn on your bean opponent. I don't know what to tell you. You don't got the permits. You don't got the permits to resolve a bean this turn. Yeah, you've got time warp. We've got time warp. I'll tell you what. <laughs> Watery Grave, huh? No opponent. Show me the proper paperwork to resolve this bean, and then you can resolve it. In that order. In that order only. Uh, all right. <laughs> they resolve. It resolves. Pretty similar to last game. I just attack them. I'm gonna attack the the, the the Ren, I guess. Well, we know they got a fetch land. Maybe we have to sell this in game three. Who's to say? We got, I mean, we got draws. I don't know. I think we're going to try to find a turn where we can combo. And we get to see more of their deck too. We get to see if they're on the time warp plan actually, for sure. The combo is Heliod plus Walking Ballista it is infinite damage and infinite life and infinite clicks. I, I do I do just want to see as much of their deck as possible. You play mono control for too many turns? Shut up, I didn't have a good line this game. <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> you, I know you didn't see my hand. I did not have a like, better option on any turn this game. 
<laughs> the good normal elements. They, they showed us Mist Veil planes last game, which was the, the weird dynamic. Oh yeah, I should have played a Johnny. <laughs> People not play the older elementals with Reef because of Bowmaster. Yeah, I, that is a big part of why you don't play uh, those builds these days. I believe they XL my ring. I have another one in my hand. Maybe we see a Bring to Light here. Why do they have misfill planes in their deck? If they are like, I'm assume, I really feel like I need to see a time warp here to keep my sanity. Do you think Brush for Mouth was still a better choice now that Bone Master's a thing? Probably not. Yeah, probably not. Could be a way to just, yeah, just, just like the way to stop decking with rings. I, with beats. I don't know, but it's like, I don't know that one misfill planes really does that if you <laughs> like don't have the time warps, maybe. The Brink Slide decks have been running a single time warp, I see. I see. They plus, they XL a Ballista on my side and a One Ring on their side. And there's a time warp. I'll, uh. Not concede yet, actually. I, I want to see more of their list. Return Triumphant is better than Recommission to Recommend Elementals. Um, return Creature Man by 3 or less from Graveyard create a Young Hero roll. Uh, I guess it, I, I, I can't remember exactly what Young Hero roll does, but assuming that that's better than plus one, plus one counter, I would guess that it's better. You, you would maybe lose the ability to recommission your... Um, they also just did an attack. I'm, I'm chilling. Uh, you could you, you, you lose the ability to recommission your um, Aether Vial, but that's not that important. Yeah, I mean, I, I'm not. I don't like to play to the clock, but it, if I have a reason to like play it out, like I mean, I also can combo next turn in theory if they play sloppily. Um, I have a protection for the combo with the giver. I don't know exactly what their list looks like, so I want to see more of it. I think that's enough reason to keep playing here. Oh, I have protection from everything. No, I, no, I don't, because I, no, I, I don't. I, I got that ring back from a uh, Haywire Mite on a binding. I didn't actually get... They, I think they think I have it, though. Ugh. Yeah, I mean, just like, like, like this... Like, getting to see that they have certain scolding in their deck is, you know, a pretty valuable thing. Seeing Elishnorn is nice. I think I'm going to concede as I... Well, I could... Is it they somehow have nothing? I could draw another Ballista still. They failed to find that fetchable here. So I guess I need to take a screenshot. So we have a Fountain, Sacred Foundry, Steam Vents, Island... And Unlikely to be super relevant. Okay, so I guess their own Ballista will stop me from comboing. I have a ring in my hand with a draw. I can't get protection because they're Elishnor and will concede. Seven minutes on the clock for them. Not sure how different I want to be for game three. Probably not that different. The Elishnorns are concerned. The Elishnorns are concerning. It's probably like, you know, one of Bring to Light Target. Reprieve is looking nice. Could see maybe wanting like one solitude. Maybe I'm gonna bring in one solitude over Heliod three, I think. Giant Norn for Giant Killer for Norn and Omnath. I guess it does answer Norn. Maybe it's worth playing. 
Okay, my hand is a keep. I mean, I don't think... I, Sentinel seems like one of our best cards. I don't think we could cut Sentinel here. See how you move an Elish Thorn? Uh, well, we, th we're not necessarily trying to remove it. Like, they have one copy of it in the deck. We have Reprieve. We can combo if they go for it. It's not... You don't, you know, don't have to have a removal spell for it necessarily to have a game plan in the matchup. Fuck, no! No! I, I, I have another reprieve in my hand. I meant to cast that instead. Just not a matchup where you just can throw away a Leyland Binding like this. It feels so bad. Although, if you are ever going to just throw away a binding, it's good to have a turn four ring, I guess. It's nice that they can't bring to light to Elishnorn here. I just have Might in play for the ring, also. You have Solitude, I guess. Let's be okay, though. Yeah. They have Scolding. I'm going to reprieve my own might. Did really want to have reprieve up on their turn, but I think just being ahead in this ring battle is more important. Bring to light. Okay, can't get an Elish Norn here, thankfully. For Omnath, not Falky. Maybe they have Tybalt in their hand, or Falky in their hand. No fetch land, it's so big, holy shit. Breeding Pulse, they have another Scolding, or Besaju. Yeah, it could be Besaju. Alright, so if it's Besaju, let's just find out about it now. So it seems to be Stern Scolding instead. So let's play around it. Kind of a setup turn. I think they're going to cast Tybalt here. Or I, I don't know, they, they fed shocked Watergrave really fast. I'm more to ego, huh? You're gonna name Ballista, probably? If you name Ballista, you can see my real hand. That's a, that does contain a Ballista, so... We can't combo anymore. I'm not sure how big a problem that's gonna be. I think I'm gonna not Cauldron yet. Go, Heliod! Sun crowned! Go! Commander damage. Pew pew, two years. Welcome back. Thank you. Thank you. 
You missed one damage with cauldron. I'm using the cauldron. Shut up. Sh chat. Shut up. Please. <laughs> you could have cauldroned your helium. <laughs> I'm killing the bean. <laughs> Killing this one too, I think. Time warp. Interesting. Very good to have no uh, bean in play with the time warp, you know. Uh, that, Cauldron lets you spin mana as if it were any color for activated abilities. Put us on two minutes. Alright, here comes the Tibble. They excel my ring, which is fine. I guess maybe it's a bit of a problem because they can get their own. Should be should be okay. What can they have here? Stern scolding? Okay, I have them dead if they scolding here, so let's let them cast it. I guess after all that sweating and crying about me misclicking on the Leyline Binding, Mono White actually still ended up being a deck that could just outgrind five color mythics. Nice, nice. My hand is very borderline. I'm not really sure about it. This is a hand hider, y'all. I'm gonna mulligan. It's super, super borderline. Oh, I should have showed the head. The opponent is turning off the stream, they say, and then making their mulligan decision. My seven card hand was like, it was um, Fetchland Plains, Walking Ballista, Haywire Might. Fetchland Plains, Walking Ballista, Haywire Might, Heliod, Wandering, Solitude. It was like missing a land really bad. I think I would have kept on the draw. Would have kept if I knew Solitude is really good in the matchup. I think on the play. So okay to ship it. You know how MTGO sometimes change it before everyone update deck. It took me till turn into realize I was not playing deck, I thought. <laughs> Alright, so we're gonna keep. I'm gonna put back this card. Get Sambuch's build. Oh wow, this, this is like almost exactly where we ended up. So you're playing one more land and one less mana creature. It seems fine as far as the main deck goes. Yeah, it doesn't seem too complicated. Need to mess with the sideboard. I don't know if you even sideboard Flame of Adore. Maybe it's like nice against Scam. Maybe it's nonsense. So, Bobble, Scalding Tarn. If this is Murktide, Murktide, I think, has been a good matchup so far. Why are you playing Snowlands? Okay, so if you ever see, like, snow-covered planes on your deck, I encourage you to just open the deck list and look and see if there's Onto Ice. If there's Onto Ice, that's why. If not, it also doesn't matter. <laughs> there's also no... If, if you don't see them, I also encourage you to, you know, not still, still just move on with your day. <laughs> Oh, they're playing Doomwake's deck. Doomwake Sleep Cursed Fairy deck. I um agree with Doomwake's thesis that Sleep Cursed Fairy is a really good card when you are um get planes here. Uh, Sleep Cursed Fairy is a really good card when you have Flame of Anor, but I, it's it's also a kind of unimpactful card beyond that. I it is interesting. It is a one mana fairy. You can't really kill. And that, that certainly has value. Magma magmatic Channeler. Let's go. Very cool. Any uh, spell piercers over there? Of course. Yeah, opponent is cooking. So this becomes a 4-4 with one more instant sorcery. This will untap in two turns or uh, next turn if they spend two mana on it. 
two cards in their hand. Is attacking instead of using Channeler, so probably has a counter spell of some kind. I'm gonna play an Esper Sentinel. I kind of think if you're gonna play this this style of deck with all these Flame of Anors, I kind of encourage you to just play um, just play Merfolk instead. So if they have counter spell, we get to draw a card. Also, with four force of negation, we get to draw a card. The channeler is a four four now. Give me for seven this turn. Seven's a lot of damage. They decide to attack for four, so I wonder if they miss this, or maybe they want it, maybe they think I'll miss it. To be determined, maybe. So they have Flame of Anor, number two. Or number one, I guess. It's a deal. Five here, destroyed the Sentinel. I think I need another card badly enough to draw this card here by buffing the Sentinel in combat. So they untap this, not that it actually uh, accomplishes anything, I guess. We got one card, Heliod would be a pretty good draw. Business, the 21, thank you. Guess I have to chump block. Which I don't like having to do. Another channeler, so Heliod at the top is easy mode, right? No Heliod, at least not off the top. I'll play that as a land. One more land lets me double activate Ballista. Don't think I'm double blocking here. They attack me for seven. I go down to two. I go back up to five off the attack. Iteration's a good top deck. They exile on Holy Heats. We lose the solitude. I'm dead to a bolt. I'm I'm st I'm, not, I'm still not going to block. I think the top decking Heliod is probably going to be my best out here because I'll maybe top deck a ring. Um, I've drawn a card that puts me technically not dead because I can get might ping my might, but dead to iteration into heat counter spell. Pretty dang good. So down a game against an interesting brew. I cut my Haywire Might. I'm gonna bring in my Forge Tender. Bring in my Sanctifiers. Do you think this is a matchup where the combo tends to not shine very much and you can just kind of outgrind them? Something like this. This is kind of like roughly what we do against Merc Tide. Except I'm not gonna bring in Giant Killer this time. Seems fine. I think you're supposed to bring in Sanctifier in these kind of matchups. It's good against Channeler. It's it's like mostly unkillable or unboltable, like Hexproof. Heal I like life linking relevant. I mean, I'm not really trying to play three mana enchantment. That have, that's like main text is, you know, <laughs> two mana game life or activate game life. Is the same deck I was posted on YouTube this morning? Uh, probably. I have an editor that handles all the YouTube uploads, but I, it is the same deck as we played on stream earlier this week. Okay, on the play for game two, down the game. My opening hand is good enough to keep. Living in fear of turn one, sleep cursed fairy. It's over. No uh, recourse, might as well concede. I guess we can play it out. Just kind of go through the motions. Think fairies are good card in these decks. Making your counter spell turns better is good. Yeah, I'm not. I'm not. I'm not saying it's bad. I'm. I. Is it better than Murktide? Is is you know the big question with these kind of decks, and I'm not sure. <laughs> I I am I am making fun of it a little bit, but. Uh, I agree that it, it has been performing a bit better than it's uh, you know I thought it would. 
Like, is this still a card you want? Is this a card you want to register over Ragavan? Is it a card you want to register over Channeler, Ledger Shredder, Murktide Regent? I don't know. <laughs> I'm still I am dubious. I think it's better than Ragavan if you are in Flame, like you said. Yeah, maybe. Yeah, I mean, like obviously it's very, very good with Flame. You know, I, I, I but Flame is also you know a good card in general. But Messwood has been around. Yeah, I, I, I believe it. I don't know. It's, I, I, I'm, I'm open to it being fine. Okay, what are we doing here? Pretty good draw. So I'm gonna get a Forge Tender here, and we're gonna put a counter on. Sanctifier. Play my Forge Tinder. Get in for three. Yeah, I guess I should have been, uh, I should have exiled their Bobble Western. I think doing a good job racing them currently. Not that they've actually attacked me yet. <laughs> you are fucking kidding me right now. In what world do I wake up, play, register my idyllic Grange deck, and get flash fired? You are kidding me. You're shitting me with this. No fucking way, dude. What the, <laughs> what the fuck? This is so unfair. I cannot believe it. Literally, why is that in your deck? I can't. I, I just can't. I guess I need to not activate this. I should have exiled from the yard, but I need to be able to get in. Is it good against four color? I don't know. It, maybe, maybe it is actually really good against four color. If I win anyways, I'm gonna. It's gonna be so funny. Registered. <laughs> This is a bad beat. This is a bad, bad beat. <laughs> it is maybe sick against four color though. They get to kill my, uh, what is this? What, what can they have for a red here? Removal spell doesn't kill either. Like, Bolt or Heat doesn't kill either of this. I think that's what they're realizing. Yeah, there, there's a chance Flash Fires is, like, sick against four color on math, actually, with them being on bindings and stuff. It's, I don't know. I mean, boils. Even sometimes. <laughs> Not that good. Yeah, Magmatic Sinkhole would be so tilting. We won anyways! We won anyways! <laughs> but now we have to play game three against an opponent who has flash fires. It, it's, <laughs> now we have to play game three. Yeah, Mary would be pretty good, huh? Reprieve seems solid against it. I mean, it's good against that card and like not that good against the rest of their deck is kind of the problem, right? I think I think I I think I'm I'm kind of down to bring in the reprieves though. Also, can reprieving, reprieving flame of a noise, okay. You just want to lead on Sentinel. Draw a card when they flash fires. Do 
to use my power of complaining to possibly win. It's the flash dart, flash fires deck. My most effective tool. Complain about everything. Really don't know what Zagrange is. I just, it's just a, 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 a clicky baby. Let me get another Sentinel here. Honestly, if they flash fires me here, it's not that bad. <laughs> it's not that good either, but it's like conceivably beatable. That's working out. <laughs> or, sorry, Snapcaster. All right, three, three Sanctifier is pretty good. Locksmith update. It should be. I. I mean, I. I, I if, if you're looking at the hand hider, this is a, this is a hand hider. You know, if you notice how none of the, my cards ever leave my hand, it's a hand hider. Not gonna upkeep Rangers, Captain Sack, the player on flash fires. Honestly, they're kinda dead if they flash fires. They're just taking eight down to five. I cannot believe I'm thinking about flash fires today. It's so unfair to queue into the only player in year. My post says I'm now holding five lands. <laughs> you get for regging. Flash fires, man. <laughs> no hate to opponent, of course. <laughs> just, I can't believe it. I can't believe we got flash fires and won. I can't believe we got. So my college, I feel like you gotta know every single activity ability of modern, or most of them at least. I'll we'll probably try to do some fulminator, cauldron stuff. Uh, next week. Okay, I'm keeping my seven, waiting my opponent. Dak, thank you for the raid. Very excited to see that you're streaming early this morning. Hopefully I can return the raid favor one of these days. If you're not following Dak, you should be. Dak's doing a lot of good brewing and modern right now. Misty Rainforest in a past turn, huh? How many calls you playing scales? More like two or three? I mean, yeah, two or three. I Not, not four, not one. And uh, for me, it's you know, still... To be determined what the, that number is. Katria Trumps. So maybe up against Rhinos here. Rhinos did not seem like that bad of a matchup when we played against it earlier. Although my current draw isn't you know necessarily very good. They don't have a, a play this turn, at least. I think putting a counter on the Sentinel. And I imagine that they're going to outburst here. Got two cards left in my hand, drawing up a third one here. It was it was a pretty reasonable card? Oh no, opponent! No, they misclicked. I'm sorry, opponent. They just they just accidentally clicked. No, we we also made a pretty brutal misclick this tournament, but that's I, that's that's tough. Yeah, sorry, I, I know that I, I don't know why I can't get this hand hider size correctly. Then. That's gotta feel awful. And it feels great for me. Um, yeah, so let's pass back. So we have seen that they are on the mystical dispute tack which is you know relatively common uh i'm gonna go ahead and put a counter on the ballista this time i think two two ballistas or since is big enough 
that we're gonna solitude to play around dispute. I mean, double giver up is always really nice in these kind of, you know, play to the board games. Um, probably we'll just take four here. Could certainly try to leverage the givers, but I think with the dynamic of my hand, I'm just going to not. Could draw another card. Hmm. You're kind of a weird one. Yeah, let's let this die. get to gain a life from these pings too. I'm actually going to uh, remove the second one from the Rhino. So I have a four power solitude that can uh, block Rhinos on defense with protection from Giver. I am out of idyllic Granges now. They're floating in greens as a Lord revealed. Sure. Five cards in their hand. Fury's pretty good, although <clears throat> gonna give me some fuel for my cauldron at least. Kind of curious what they target. They just target both givers, so we'll just protect one. Yeah, I guess I guess I guess they, they probably should have gone this giver and them both sentinels. They could have killed a sentinel. And now everything with the counter is gonna get uh, giver of runes ability, which is a very big deal. So I think I'm just going to go play this and then get my counter on a sentinel here. And now, <laughs> now these have a uh, giver of runes is activated ability and ballista's activated ability, which is pretty good combo. I have no cards left in my hand. Just got to get temple garden off the marsh flats. No idea what Granger's left. Maybe an okay turn to start attacking with the solitude. Let's um guess I actually just X is one this. Play on probably on dispute and then if they have subtlety I can still activate the ability. Would you want the fourth grange? I would want it in games like this, and I wouldn't want it when I draw two copies in my my hand early, you know what I mean? Like I think you just, it's correct to play three, but I would want it in, in these kind of games. <laughs> you know. Yeah, I mean, deck flash fire. That's, that'd be tough. Something like this. Yeah, three is already a lot. I'm gonna go down a cauldron up a Heliod actually. Three Heliod, two Ballista. Yeah, I agree this deck's pretty unique. Class been going well. Oh, we have a game with the same conclusion, Vanny. Cool.
much for Calder and outside the context we have some counters already. I mean, there's probably some spots, but it's kind of hard for the spots to be better than just like playing whatever synergies you want to play in a Yawgmoth or in one of these shells that has those abilities, if that makes sense. Okay, dead sentinel. No third land, the Rhino's experience. I think I actually iced this. I don't I don't have another untapped land in my hand, and I really don't want them to draw their third land, so just sorry, pre reprieve this so I can reprieve here to you know reduce the chances that we get Rhino next turn. Seems like a priority. So this time we won't reprieve the ice. Not that I have another reprieve in my hand. Uh, and I will pass back. Neither did they, which is fine. I'm probably going to shuffle that away if they rhinos me here, but if they don't, I'll keep it. Hoodie, I, I was at the mall yesterday. We were like, going to an arcade, and then one of our friends wanted to go to Hot Topic, so we got a, uh, there's, then they had this sweet Jujutsu Kaisen hoodie. Is this coming down? Not for a while. King Fury. Okay, it's pretty good. They got two cards left in their hand. They had Rhinos coming down next turn. They didn't force him to negation me last turn, so I feel somewhat safe to do this. I mean, if they do have Solitude, I can play Johnny's Pride Mate and block it in three turns. Oh, yeah, they, yeah, there's maybe the known rhinos which they suspend now. Hmm. I should spain phase this because of subtlety. Go to discard a little bit.
You can't kill on turn three. I don't know why people think you can, but you can't. You have to. You always have to play Heliod, activate Heliod to kill in this deck. Okay, so we uh, play Blist on, on one. I heal Grange, Heliod combo kill. Nice. Obviously, my opponent like I we we very likely would have lost game one had my opponent not misclicked like that. So, okay, let's go. Want another die roll against a, a sixty nine card deck? So probably another Omnath build. Beat Omnath earlier. My opening hand is to be a mulligan, especially seeing the sixty nine. Gotta go to five. There's a one lander, unfortunately. And not a grade five, unfortunately, too. Sir, to Ted Monsey, thank you. Yeah, they're playing more cards in the deck to not deck to beat in stock. It's pretty funny. Yeah, we played against a deck like that earlier, so maybe they were also 69 cards, I just didn't notice. So I need this in the graveyard more than I want to trigger my Heliod here, I guess. So it's down to four cards. We got some good draws. That's good for them, though. Nox with the two months. Thank you. Welcome back. <sighs> Flatten a little bit. Tough ball to five. It's fair. Get at least the wrong good tribe here. Well, I drew it with the one ring. It's a pretty good top deck. Yeah, four cards in their hand. One of them looks like it's good. Prismatic ending, I guess. Yeah, it looks like a prismatic ending. Okay. All right, top of my library. Got to keep uh, keep cooperating, I think. I'm going to get a, the, the other try. I'm gonna, I know I could cycle it, but... All right. Top library, not actually very kind. Seems like a rough matchup. We beat it. Or we beat it earlier this tournament and during on stream. Like, I don't know. I mulled a five this game. It's very tough to mulligan on the play in this matchup with another like fair deck, but I'm not I'm not too upset to play this matchup, I think. We can also like it's this is still a winnable game, maybe that's copium. Oh no, we drew another land. Rough matchup. <laughs> Rough matchup. I'm gonna save saving these for idyllic ranges though. Jim, seven months, thank you, welcome back. I think I'm just going to be really in on uh, them not having a solitude and them not killing my ranger captain. Evoking, huh? 
Oh well, okay. I'm dead, I'm dead, I get it. I think I'm gonna bring in the giant killer. I, I know I just said I, I know I didn't last time, but I'm gonna assume they have the Elishnorn, and I think having the answer to Elishnorn is actually important. Reprieve still still good. Um, still a good tool. I think I want to be down to one solitude again, and then I I think three two blister th three helia two blister or three three is both are fine. Probably three two. We just have all these ranger captains, you know. This looks good. Hopefully, you can keep a good seven this time. Yeah, we multi five. We got pretty flat in game one. Sentinel's medium. No, Sentinel. Sen As for Sentinel, was great in this matchup. Y'all are out of your mind thinking it's medium. This is what happened last time too. They're freaking bring to light bean back. Like what? Are, like what? Like why? Why? Give, somebody tell me why Sentinel is medium here. Even if it dies to red and six, you still get to draw a card. But they written six it. Like, like, why? Why is Sentinel bad? Sentinel is. I think I want it. I want it in my opening hand every single game. I want it. I want as many Sentinels as possible. Sentinel is also better this deck because you can buff it. Two two Sentinel is so good against them. Like, what are we talking about? Uh, I think I like Sanctify over Surge, and I think more than like more scam hate cards is overkill. You could play it though. Sentinel was also a fantastic tool against them last time. I would I would play I would play like eight Sentinels if I could even in this matchup. This version is slightly different with, with bolts and no bring to light. Well, they they they're playing watery grave, so I'm assuming that they have bring to light in their deck. Right, I'm like pretty sure I saw a watery grave, and I can't imagine they have that without bring to light. They're also playing 69 cards, more likely for bring to light. Yeah, keep it this. Some number of surge and all four reprieves. Maybe they do different things. We can you know, talk about it later. I drew Temple Garden for turn. I would have got Jeskai Trium if I if I drew Temple Garden. Even gonna fetch a uh, blist or a, a sentinel, I think. Yeah. Like the sentinels are so good at to tutor off ranger captain because you just get to go sentinel grange, boom, you have a two two sentinel. It's just so powerful. But I might do something else next turn. Also, if I draw a grange, I, not that I have a grange, but we, you could use it to pressure the the ren, I suppose. They they would have had domain for binding, but they didn't um, set up for it. Yeah, I I'm gonna just slam out the one ring here, but had a few have I had a lot of good right lines here. One Nor and three Arcans of Creativity. It seems okay. I, I don't I don't have strong feelings about it. It seems about, about the same as four Archons. Don't think we're supposed to upkeep Sack Ranger Captain. Could have been fine. I almost feel like they must have drawn this for turn. Yeah, Reprieve has been really nice in these matchups. The curve is so high. Now a sack. A lot of options here, of course. I do feel like an established ring is a big part of this matchup. I'm gonna binding their binding here. Fair enough. So let's go Ranger Captain for Haywire Might. Play it. 
by a giver. Got four cards in my hand. I had a mana. Nice. I have the might line for the binding. I feel like I'm ahead here. It is interesting, like that. This is like legitimately a deck that can outgrind, um, outgrind theirs. Sorry, I should have played the Sentinel first. Play around binding a little bit better. I'm gonna go after my own ring here. They already have a card advantage in Jin. I kind of need mine back, you know. Upkeep Ranger Captain does seem pretty reasonable in these kind of games. It was very good uh, last time we played the matchup. Let's let's do it. I I, I can soul partition against card decks ever. Let me just play this, uh, this challenge match, and then we can talk about goofy cards. Soul partition is also like not a playable modern card at all. So just just don't consider registering it ever. But um, I, I want to play my match. So for the night months, thank you. Welcome back. Yeah, that that one's kind of easy. Don't register it ever, but we got a match to play. Got the Seaver XR can play. Ready to twin at any moment. So I still get to draw a card here. Somehow I don't have an idyllic Grange in my hand at the moment. So I can't combo. Get my ring back. They have another binding. Okay. Fair enough. Oh boy. That's just a second. They, they boarded in another besage. You're good to know. How many bindings is this? That's the third binding. Yeah, can you, yeah, notice Flash Fire does seem to be good against these builds, huh? We're going to upkeep for another Esper Sentinel Trigger. Uh, maybe that could have been a better line, yeah. I, I was just not playing around the third binding. We can easily outgrind their deck. I, I, I don't know if I said easily, but we can. It, it, like, actually, clip, clip me saying we could easily outgrind their deck and I'll gift you a sub. I might have said it, but if you clip it, I'll gift you, gift you a sub. But we can. We already have done it once this tournament, you know. Yeah, we got flash fired earlier. It was gross. Their left total is pretty dang low. That'll help some. So 
They have protection from everything at the moment, which is, of course, a little obnoxious. We can easily upgrade the deck. Okay. 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 That doesn't count. <laughs> <laughs> that doesn't count. But, you know, A for effort. You want to respond to the trigger here, so if they tap the ring in response, they take an extra damage. Yeah. And then we just let this resolve. Let this resolve. Also, we literally are best. Come on, we literally are outgrinding their deck. Let's go! <laughs> this is exactly what happened last time, too. It's weird. <laughs> we easily outgrind. Bring in the third might on the draw. Was it easily? No, but I, I don't think I said easily. If I did, you're right, I was wrong, but like, just you can sometimes, right? And we've already, you know, we've, we've been doing it sometimes. Yeah, we already had two mites in, but I, I brought in the third one. B underscore sent. Thank you for the 37 months. So if they have written six, it's the worst case scenario, but we still get to draw a card. So, not the worst ever. Does seem like they have it. Was it not better to Ballista for one than have two Heliod activations up? Respond to a Solitude. I don't really think it's any different because you can't, you can't remove another counter from the Ballista, so it's better to have the extra counter since their life total was pretty low. I think. I don't think so. <laughs> I hope you needed that fetch slam. That's out grinded, baby. Mm. Blaze of Sage, you three cards in hand. I think that they don't have another land in their hand. Oh, well, another fetch land at least. They do. Have, they did have another land. So they have three cards left over there. My hand's kind of flooded. I have a ton of good draws here, but I have to draw something now. I hand has four lands in a spell, and that spell is not Ballista. I drew another land. Fuck. Why not Spike Freighter? Spike, I, I just, this, we, we're currently, you know, 11 and two with one of this list. We can talk about it after the, the match, but I've been liking this build. I, I have not missed Spike Feeder, I've not missed Company. Get a thin. So want to be able to draw a binding here, I guess. Very really shocking here. Not really any good way to play around a removal spell, I think. Yeah, I just, I just they, they, they respond to me activating Heliod here, so I think I just pass. Problem is, like, you know, stupid wondering, right? They could be bluffing, I, I suppose. It seems so hard for them to have nothing, though. 
And it's nice that, like, if they kill my Ballista, you know, we have we can Cauldron the Ballista next turn. And they're going to have to use two removal spells on this. Yeah, they're playing a 69 card list. Does this change anything? I don't know. I don't think so. Maybe they fetch. I mean, they're gonna fetch. We would respond to the card draw if we were gonna respond. Yeah, I can't believe my hand was just like four lands, one spell there. It's so tough. I did draw spell spell this last couple turns, though, at least. Off the reprieve and then off the draw step. But I had just so many things to punish them there. I said nothing. I think they were prismatic ending. Which is kind of annoying. I don't know. They're. <laughs> They're still seem a little stuck here. I don't know. Okay, evoke fury, evoke. Life link. Bolts the blister. Okay. Um. I think I will put a counter on the blister here. And I'm gonna put all three points at the red and six. Or should I put some points at them? I think we're not gonna. So I go to nine. Can I just have three? No, maybe I could. Maybe I could have gone more for their life total. Does Chaffery change much? Yeah, Chaffery changes. Yeah, really taxes my mana here. It's hard for my opponent not to have it everything here. Yeah. Okay, my hand is four lands and a Heliod. I'm gonna concede. Tough game. I think I think if, we're, if our hand was just like if if I had any two any two spells that turn, I don't know, maybe not any two, but that, that turn where I just my hand was just reprieve four lands. I have I had so many answers to binding in the deck. Like two more ballistas, four captain, two binding. Round five of the challenge has started. Hand hider up, keepable hands. But it's an old six on the play. Is true primates user keepable? I, this is a hand hider. <laughs> this is a hand hider. I'm not registering a Johnny's pride mate. I'm sorry to break your heart. But we also do have a soul sister. In our hand hider. That is not real. Okay, Steam Vince Go. Usually pretty happy to see that, I guess. Give me a card. Uh oh, it's Living End. I think we beat Living End the only time we played against it in the leagues. I think they're joking. Yeah, I don't know. It's like 50-50. Like, are they joking? Are they not? It's okay. Yeah, you, you can be joking. Joking is allowed. I'm going to play my tap land here. Yeah, Ranger Captain is good. Reprieve is good. Um, and then having access to a combo that can ignore them is is, is pretty nice, too. Solitude, you know, could buy a lot of time as well. So they have six, they have 15 power over there. And they're missing their third land drop. No, they, they're not missing their third land drop. They're living in dig instead. So I kind of have a weird decision point here. I can go for the Ballista combo next turn, but I can also... Oh, sorry, never mind, I don't. For I thought I would have four mana this turn, but I only have three, so... We just play this, hope to survive. They have Violent Outburst, you know. Uh, yeah. We go to one, right? 
Can't fetch for an ideal at Grange, I guess. Good thing I just have two naturally in my hands. They have Subtlety, Besaju, Turtle we could lose, but not that many cards. Be annoying if they go Tank Tank Subtlety. Probably just has more Cyclers, right? Puts a card on the bottom. So no more uh, besage you as a possible out, but um, this this would imply the existence of a main deck subtlety somewhere over there. Not in the hands. So GG. Sanctifier could be better than Giver. Giver's pretty dopey. Neither are very good, though. It's better against protecting the combo. Let's just keep Sanctifier in. Or sorry, Giver in. Thank you for the good luck, opponent. It's very nice of you to bestow that onto me. Cauldron's kind of graveyard hate. Not very good graveyard hate, though. Alright, opponent's tanking on how to sideboard and figure something out. Kind of a borderline hand. I'm gonna keep it though. On the draw. Opponent's on at least a mulligan to six. They decide six is good enough for them. Main phase cycle river windy. So y'all get to see the hand too. Reprieve is the most important card when you're on the draw in a post board scenario, so. I kept on the strength of Reprieve, hoping Top of My Library would be kind to me. We're still hoping the Top of My Library is kind to me, though. Whoosh with the 32 months. Thank you. In the upkeep here. Hmm. So it's kind of the problem with bluffing. Is like I was bluffing that I drew reprieve, but then I just I just drew ranger captain. So I think I just have to I just have to cast the ranger captain. I don't know. Like I don't actually have reprieve in my hand. The upkeep fetch is like bluffing it. And they don't have it. Let's go. <laughs> <laughs> but it's like, uh, let's actually like cast the, the 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 good card against them, you know. Um, not sure what I'm grabbing. Sentinel, maybe ballista, maybe let's get ballista. So my hand is now giver ballista. Trium, Grange, Grange. Oh. I guess if I draw Solitude, I won't want to cast the Giver. That's probably enough reason to cycle now. They're griefing again. Street Wraith hardcast. I have not seen a hardcast Street Wraith. Maybe ever. I don't know. So I'm pretty sure we're going to give pro black here. And then we, I think we put the counter on the Heliod, since that's like the creature that would survive a possible living end. Maybe on a giver though, so if they sacrifice your captain, I could tack for a little bit more. 
You've seen Street of Cuts Against Me? Really? I don't know that I've ever seen it, but... I don't know, Chad is better at remembering the things that happened on this channel than me. <laughs> Anger of the Gods. What the heck? The fun funny, my ranger captain is a 3-3, doesn't die to anger. So they have one card in their hands. Their grief gets exiled. It has to be, like, something really, really relevant, and it doesn't seem like they've had a very relevant hand. But it says, okay, that's it. Okay, we're on the draw. Gonna keep this. Press on a mold of six. Mine, mine is solid. It kind of depends on what matchup we're up against. Certainly don't mind seeing Scalding Tarn with my exact hand. Could be Living End again. We did just beat Living End. Doesn't seem that bad. But they are another Omnath deck, I guess. Probably. Oh yeah, Creativity, that's a deck in Modern. That is a deck in Modern. Wonder how our matchup is. Time to use that grind them. I mean, I'm a ring deck. I'm probably not too scared. That was pretty good. Still just a two for two, kind of. Got a lot of good drills for next turn, too. I thought that my hand is currently amazing for next turn. Him, thank you for the eight months. Hope you're doing well. Just pass it back. How do you find time to practice draft before RCs? Uh, there's no draft at RCs, it was at the PTs. The key is to not have a job and just do magic full time. Uh, that's my advice to you. Okay, draw two, make a treasure. Yeah, but yeah, I don't I don't only stream I, you know, for magic. I play a lot off stream. It's always been the key to, you know, my success. It's the hours. It's about drive. It's about power. We stay hungry. We... Yeah, I, I can't think of anything funny. Sorry. Maybe next time I'll have something clever for y'all. Instead, I just have the one ring on the stack. Ah! It's pretty good. Well played opponent. Two cards in their hand. Another Prismari commands. I would I would guess. Thinking about what modes they might like to do, but wouldn't it just be obvious draw two, make it okay. Sure. They're definitely getting to hardcast Archon territory, which is not territory that I love to live in. I 
I've drawn uh, maybe a few more lands than I would like to on a usual game of magic. It's okay though. Got a couple spells left. Let's go to Steam Vents and a Spell Pierce. Wish I had a Fable. Yeah, if we had a Mary here, we could get back Asper Sentinel, Ballista, and the Solitudes. <laughs> Plays a land, sacrifices the the land. Surely, if they had Archon, they would have just hard cast. I think they're like I think they have creativity, and they're thinking about to creativity my solitude or not would be my guess. Or they're just double queuing. I don't fucking know. So what's nice about this Leyline Binding on the treasure token here is that they now have to have land plus Archon to Archon the next turn instead of just uh, an Archon. And I can put my opponent down to two here. Um, right, yeah, two. So I guess let me... Oh my gosh, I totally meant to upkeep this. Um, I think I put this here so I have to sacrifice the solitude I have a bigger one. Hmm. Cycle one. Pings. I guess another Ren and Six is a reason to spread the counters around. I don't have a fourth idyllic range in the deck, unfortunately. I do have a binding in my hand, though. Let's go. Easily outgrinded. Sideboarding this matchup's tough. I'm gonna cut the Might. I'm gonna trim a Heliod. I'm gonna trim a Ballista. Sanctifier is not bad in the matchup. Um, they are a binding deck. I guess I guess they are a binding deck. I want the first might probably. Don't think I want Giant Killer. Don't think that I want Forge Tinder. Those cards are okay though. They're not. They're not so bad. I think we just do something like this. I haven't been drawing a lot of cauldrons today, but that's okay, I guess. Yeah, you could. We have. I think we just like want to keep in all this removal here. Like you could even cut the fourth solitude, but don't think you want to. Is it also not grind the four archons? Well, we can kill them. That's not my only answer to it. <laughs> or are you saying you want to bring it in to try to to try to outgrind them? All I see. Maybe I, I don't. I don't think it's a good plan, but it's a plan like you kind of have to take sometimes. One of your mother rooms essentials. What what do y'all think Esper Sentinel says, chat? Why is it every time I play a game with this jack the, the chat the deck? Chat is like cut Esper Sentinel. Sentinel is literally our best card in the matchup. What what do y'all think Esper Sentinel says? I can see cutting givers, I think also not a card you want to cut. But literally, what do you think Esper Sentinel says? <laughs> I'm so lost. People think Bowmaster are more prevalent. Yeah, but we, they know the matchup, though. We're no, no, they should know we're not up against a Bowmaster deck, you know? They have Ridden Six into Fable. It's pretty bad for me. Teferi is also bad for me here. Like, if they Ridden Six it, you still get to draw a card. Ridden Six is going to be good against you anyways. Damn it. We're pretty bad shape here, to be honest. No, we haven't done the turn three so, so win. I wasn't even aware of it, <laughs> to be honest, until today. 
the game, thankfully. Man, it's pretty dang bad at the moment. Yeah, you win turn three by going turn two cauldron, turn three heliod, and then zero zero ballista, evoke solitude, cauldron onto your ballista, and then your ballista just naturally has lifelink, so you don't have to give it lifelink with heliod. Guess I should exit the mire, sorry. We're super dead though, I, I think. I... I think we're gonna have to settle this game three. We'll play it out, of course. Why are, why are we doing emote only mode? Can we not? Thanks for him. I like yelling about Esper Sentinel. Alright, against the speed creativity x equals two. Man, it's pretty bad. I kept a, I kept a two reprieve hand, and then I played the cauldron turn twos to stop the red and six, which was particularly bad into red and to fairy. My reprieve was just yeah, couldn't even get cast. Okay, we get to be able to play for game three. Do you like for challenges? No, I don't. I don't like only. I don't. I don't like it for challenges, but yeah, it's okay. No worries. Alright, let's uh, run it back. Yeah, the VIP is some power. They've got too much power as it is. Yeah, Dream Start, a Sentinel. Uh, X and 1 is going to be locked for top 8. They're including this round. There are three more rounds after this. There's two more. Some X2s will probably top 8. We haven't done the math, but... We'll do the math at some point. Dude, they're at 17. <laughs> Imagine not wanting Sentinel. Alright, they found the line, huh? I'm guessing this. So this look at Jimmy's guards. I mean, to be honest, like I know we're beaming, but like it, they use two mana to kill my one drop. It's not bad. Not a bad play. <laughs> I like that is a, a good exchange for you here. Just a bit of banter. Yeah, we've been playing against any bowmasters yet. Gonna be down to five. Discard. They discard a creativity and a besage you. Usually a pretty big tell that they have a creativity in their hand. Um, hmm. I've drawn a really tricky card. I think this has got to be the line. What do they have end of turn here? 
and ice. They use their treasure to ice. Besaju, my binding. Fuck. They discarded a Besaju, so it's just like not a card that I have a very easy time playing around here. I definitely had a line that was much better against this, but it's so hard to play around it when they've already discarded one. So it does seem like they have their creativity and they're you know, deciding when it is they would like to go for it. Yeah, I think I just have to make them show me the creativity, unfortunately. Them discarding one seems very unlikely that they don't have it. The way they've played, plus the fairy seems unlikely they don't have it, but I just kind of lost the game when they, um... I just kind of lost the game when they killed my binding. I kept up Reprieve. Didn't need to keep up Reprieve. Feels bad. Ugh. So we fall to four and two. I think if I had gone, if I just gone Ranger Captain for Ballista, I'm in a lot better shape. But they still can instant speed creativity after I go in. I got a great hand. I know that's what the whole chat was yelling. The nuts. The hand hide is perfect because, like, the players who wouldn't watch a Soul Sisters hand, they know it. They know that it's just a joke. All of them know it's a joke. But the, the players who would watch Soul Sisters think I'm playing Soul Sisters for a second, so they stay for longer. It's just the perfect formula. More four color beans, I guess. It's running six cards, still pretty dang good. The X2 does, in theory, fight for top eight here. Fable, huh? You know what they say about a uh, deck list. Add Fable to it, it's immediately better. Nice to get the 2 2 Sentinel. Much harder for them to like bounce the binding and then uh, kill the sentinel with the, the ping, of course. Is there a way to record the challenges so we see a hand? There, there probably is a way to do it. Um, I'll think about it. Gloom is getting married though, so I, it, he didn't do the last like challenge top eight run. I, I kind of would expect him to not. Oh, just Natty Alishnorn. Uh oh, it's really good against me. No attacks is questionable. Don't have another land to play. Let's see if they give me a card. They do give me a card. Yeah, I think I think we should have some Elish Norns in the sideboard for these mirrors. I mean I kinda of have forgotten how prevalent this deck is gonna be in the in the challenges. Double bean. Yeah, just binding it, huh? Easy peasy. So we take six down to 11, take two more down to nine. Our idyllic ranges are also cut off, so we don't have a clean way to combo next turn. Plus, 
There's a lot of cards they can have in their hand to stop me from comboing anyways. <sighs> well... I can work with this, I guess. Yeah, we'll, we'll definitely be bringing in the Giant Killer. Should have brought it in early, the, the other time, not that it cost us the game or anything. Binding in response, I get to draw a card. Interesting that they just let me draw so many with the ring. I guess they they want to go after the Heliod instead. Sure. Oh, they get to exile two things. They go after the other binding? Really? That can't be correct. Uh, I'm going to upkeep Sack Ranger Captain, I think. Maybe put more... So, I'm going down to six. I'd have to chump block Alishnorn. That'll be okay. I, th I think, you know, trying to strand, like, you know, rings and teferis and stuff could be a an avenue to victory here. This is an avenue to a loss. Let's go to game two. The only answer is to Elshinor and Giant Killer that can't be 2 to 4. I mean, we, we would get 2 to 4 if the Ranger Captain comes down before Elshinor would have to play around it, but I, I guess so. Reprieve ain't so bad against it. Alright, roughly how we've been sideboarding. I think I'm going to go back to 3 Heliod, 2 Cauldron again. <laughs> Sorry. Keep throwing my cups around. Yeah, you can also just try to combo through Norn. Um, but when they just have, like, the Natty turn 5 Norn, it's pretty tough. Got to playtest this matchup a lot. Okay, on the play, let's keep... Bad Chef Fluence, good username. Thank you for the six months. Welcome back. The Bean, a little overplay his new card. I mean, the Bean is just really fucking good. You know, it is a great card. Yeah, opponent keeps their seven. Tree of Food Deck in a challenge. Food Deck seems like it's probably pretty well positioned with uh, the four color deck being as popular as it is. I would, I would certainly be open to, to playing it. They're reading Cauldron, or... I don't know. I don't think they're going to force a negation me. Maybe they are. I really think that Cauldron can just, like, lock down Rin for a little bit. Just, like, negate the plus one in response. I think that's really, really nice. They seem to have let it resolve. This is deck that went off without a combo? Yeah, just, like, Splinter Twin often wins without the combo. It's a pending or a Rin and six. It's a pending. It's going to exile a fetch land, I guess. I get an Esper Sentinel. I just love that on turn four, you just get to go Sentinel, Grange your Sentinel, um, and do something else with your turn. So good at these kind of games. Opponent is probably double queuing based out their speed of play. Don't think we could get a Giant Killer, but I think with some cards in my hand, this makes more sense. I guess if you went to my hand, you could screenshot the, the deck from Ranger Captain and figure it out. Hmm. They shouldn't be able to binding in response. If they could binding in response, I probably wouldn't do this. Yeah, they're definitely double queued. Because they won game one so fast, they 
certainly can take their time here. How dare you, Yindrick, think that this was actually my hand? I, ex I expect that little chat, but from you it hurts. Alright, you give me a card? They're gonna pay two, sure. Card from me. Maybe we could have upkeep sack the Ranger Captain, although if this was in their opening hand, that was pretty bad. So this you answer some of those cards make sense. Yeah, I guess that's, that's kind of a joke, I guess. Uh, zero chance ever just your playmate? Yeah. Put it really tank in here, huh? Okay, six mana after this. Oh, not that's so gross. A second binding. So hard to play against all math. Like, you just, it's so hard to figure out what it is you need to be. Sheesh, what a turn. Yeah, we really. We, I, th I think going forward, you really need to play Elish Thorn in this deck sideboard. Seems like um, that. That's like a pretty important tool. Can maybe move away from the Optimize. They, they haven't seemed like as important as I thought they would. Not sure how many. Like, I wouldn't even be like, like, assuming you're playing against it this often in the challenge, I wouldn't be opposed to play two or three. Oh, uh, don't, don't even play anything into my reprieve. I draw a second reprieve for turn. Okay, I'm done. I think. Yeah. Okay. Um, I think that's it for me today. Unfortunately, nice start. Nice start. Took some losses to the beans. It's okay though. Uh, I think it, I think playing some Elish Norns would do a long way towards improving the matchup. I think that the deck the, the deck is very hard to play against too. It's so difficult to navigate these games. Um, I'm gonna go eat some food. I haven't eaten anything today. It's like three thirty. Um, let's see if Grindcast is still streaming. If so, I'll send y'all over there if you want to see more uh, Mono White Heliod content.